Hey guys, Pete here with a little review. Today we're going to be talking about the Benchmade Mini Griptilian, the 557 BKSN. Now, just to clarify something real quick, guys, um, I had alluded to buying a mid-tier knife, something in the $100 to $150 range in my last channel update. Just to specify, this is not that knife. I actually won this knife in a raffle off of Facebook and got kind of excited. I want to show this off to you guys. Uh, it's also just going to be nice because it'll be a good comparison so you guys can really see the difference between this and the full-size Griptilian. Now, for those of you who have never seen Benchmade's products before, this is the kind of packaging you're going to get. Really, really awesome packaging. You get this nice large box, uh, even for the minis. Then inside, you're going to get this little card, which basically covers warranty information, maintenance information. Um, it talks about the different classes of knives that they have, the black class, blue class, gold class, etc. Um, and like I said, just general maintenance. Then if we get this out of the way, you've got this nice little microfiber carrying pouch, which of course has to say Benchmade on it. Uh, very nice little touch. I personally don't use it, though it's nice to have the option. Now, here is the knife in question. When you first get it from Benchmade, you're going to have this little guy in here basically just telling you this is a certified, genuine Axis Lock product. Uh, now, quick specs, as always. This is the tan or sand colored handle scales. Those scales are 3.87 inches long. The blade, as you can see, is a Tonto style blade that is flat ground. It is 2.91 inches long, and as always, is pretty much standard for your entry level Benchmades. Blade steel is 154 cm, hardened to 58 to 60 Rockwell. Now, overall, this guy is about 6.7 inches. Now, if you compare that to a full size Griptilian, which is 8.07 inches, you're talking about an inch and a quarter difference. That is a big difference. Um, for me personally, it's just a little too small to be my main EDC, but as a backup, it's not a bad option. Um, for the kind of work that I do, the kind of tasks that I do, I need a fairly robust cutting tool because I'll be, you know, chopping into stuff sometimes. Um, so for me, it's just a little too small for that purpose. But as a backup, if I, you know, need to do something smaller, a finer motor skill task, this is a great option. That Tonto style blade is great for getting in there and doing some fine detail work. And because of the uh, the size of this guy, when you get it in your hand, you can really choke up on it. Get your hand right, or your thumb rather, right on the spine of that blade and do some nice fine detail work. And just to prove to you guys, yes, this guy is very, very sharp. Got some paper off to the side here. Try and get this on camera for you guys. But it cuts, no problem. You can go nice and slow, not an issue. I really do love this knife. It is incredibly sharp out of the box. Uh, well done, Benchmade. And I find it kind of funny, I slight tangent here, uh, pretty much one of the only complaints that I'll hear about Benchmade is that because their blades are all hand ground out of the factory, sometimes people's edges will be, you know, they'll be a little off, one side will be a little too steep or not steep enough. Um, so there can be a little inconsistency in the blades, though personally I've never had an issue with that, but keep in mind I've only bought twice from Benchmade, so who knows. Um, but I've never had an issue. Mine have always been very, very sharp out of the box. Overall, it's a great little knife. Um, as I said, personally, not large enough to be my main EDC, but as a backup, it's great. Um, though I will say, the mini Griptilians make great gifts for your wife, for your girlfriend, for your daughter. Um, just because, as some of you may know, women's pants have very, very small pockets, and this guy is actually very, very slim. If you compare the thickness to the full-size Griptilian, there is a marked difference. It's, I don't know, maybe... 25% smaller, if not more, it really is very slim. So if you get that in your pocket, you're not going to notice it as much. So for those smaller, thinner pockets that aren't as deep, might be a good option, or just to keep in your purse and you know, not take up as much space. Um, it really is a great option for that. Plus, women do tend to have smaller hands, so in their hands it might feel slightly more comfortable with a smaller knife like this, where I might be swimming a little bit, their hands might fit a bit better. Uh, that Tonto style blade is excellent, though of course you've got sheep's foot drop point, tons of options from uh, Benchmade there, so you can't really complain and say that there isn't enough variety. Again, handle scales, you can get them in all different kinds of colors as well. Overall, I can't say enough good things about the knife. It came, fit and finish was pretty much perfect, deploys no problem, it's silky smooth on the closing action. Uh, pretty much the only issue is that the axis lock is a little sticky, which I'm not gonna re really going to complain about because, if anything, it just makes it harder for this knife to close. Um, but because of the type of lock that it is, it's not like uh, where you have a liner lock and if it's sticky, you risk cutting your finger. With this, if it's sticky, you're not going to hurt yourself, so I really don't mind. Uh, zero blade play, just an excellent little knife. Has a little lanyard hole right here, though again, I never put lanyards on my knives. 
can't say enough good things about this knife. I don't want to go too in-depth because if you've seen my review of the full-size Kryptonian, you pretty much know everything there is to say about this knife. Not enough good things, basically. Um, so that pretty much covers everything I wanted to do. I just wanted to show this off a little bit. Plus, I'm kind of happy. I don't really win things too often, so this was a nice little surprise. But I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions regarding this knife, another knife that I've done, or just general EDC questions that you might have. And as always, guys, keep your edges sharp and your mind sharper, and I'll see you in the next one.